Welcome to second of March godly blessing. Now, if God tells us who we were a couple of thousand years back before we the souls descended upon earth and who we are going to become now again after so many years have passed and how he helps us to become purified, become the divine self, the best of ourselves, the better version of self, whatsoever you want to call it. And he says, remember that and remain happy. God says, may you become an embodiment of remembrance and remain happy and intoxicated by keeping the two forms of your beginning and your end in front of you. That means the first birth and the last birth on earth before we go back home. God says the difference between Adi Dev Brahma. Why Adi? Adi means the beginning. Dev means the deity. Brahma or Adam. That's where the word Adam has come. And the first soul, Shri Krishna, is shown and they are also shown together. So Adi Dev Brahma, the soul, is the last birth of the first birth of Krishna. Souls are same, but the bodies have changed and the names have changed and their work has also changed. So Shri Krishna, a deity, takes many births and becomes Adi Dev Brahma in the end. And again works towards taking all the divine knowledge. That's why so many different scriptures are shown in the hands of Brahma and then again becomes complete and becomes Shri Krishna again in the next birth. So first birth Shri Krishna and the last birth is Adidev Brahma. And so is the same for us, Brahmins. So God says, in the same way, we both keep both your Brahmin form and your deity form in front of you. That I am a Brahmin now and I am going to become a deity. Hum so and so hum. And see how elevated a soul you have been from the beginning to the end. That means so many different roles which we have played. Remember those roles. You received your fortune of the kingdom for half the cycle. That means golden age and silver age, Satyug and Treta Yug. These two yugs, we remain in that yug where the rest of the souls of different religions were up there. You received your fortune of the kingdom for half the cycle and then you were a respected and worthy of worship soul for half the cycle. So whatsoever karmas which we did in the golden age and the silver age as divinity was natural for us was being praised by making our own different idols in the copper age where the different forms of devotion started and people started remembering the ancestors that means Shri Krishna Shri Narayan, Shri Lakshmi, Shri Ram, Shri Sita and their various forms and 33 crore deities who have been known as gods and goddesses means they had godly qualities and they were creation of God themselves were praised for the qualities as God says for half the cycle you remain as a god and goddess and then when you fell your past life was remembered in the form of idols. Your previous births of purity were remembered in the form of idols when you became impure. And you started praising and praying those idols yourself. That's where idol worship started. You received your fortune of the kingdom for half the cycle and then you were a respected and worthy of worship soul for half the cycle. By having this intoxication and happiness, you will become an embodiment of remembrance. That means, who made me like that? Who gave me so much of importance on this earth? Who helped me to play my part of a divine being in the beginning and then again becoming divine in the end after becoming impure? Who did that? And that makes it very simple for us to be in remembrance of the one who created us like that. And that's the divine energy, this divine power, Supreme God Father Shiva. Not the Shankara, but the Shiva who is a point of divinity. And that's what we learn in Brahma Kumaris how to get connected to the infinite metaphysical form of God. That means the infinite energy, infinite power, infinite bliss, infinite love, infinite divinity and wisdom. And how to become the same as Him, as the Father. So the child, we souls, the creation. If to know more about this, you are most welcome to attend a seven-day session, one hour a day at Brahma Kumari Center. Om Shanti with this.